So I've decided to take a little break from my normal picking a branch of service or a law enforcement agency and doing their fitness tests to create my own. So I'm going to basically go over if I had control over the Marine Corps fitness tests, um, what I would create. And my thinking here is I wanna keep it simple. I don't want it to require a bunch of equipment. I don't want it to require a lot of movement or take an hour and a half to get one person through the test. So I know there's gonna be a lot of disagreements here and that's fine, you can disagree with me. Let's just have civil disagreements and civil discussions in the comments about what could be improved upon, what kind of things you think would be good, but maybe we could tweak things here and there. What kind of events would you like to see in the new Marine Corps PFT? So the test consists of three events with a fourth optional event for certain programs or MOSs. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and demonstrate the three events. So the first event I didn't create is just going to be the 880 meter run from the current Marine Corps CFT. I think this is a good test of endurance. Um, it also will be tested in boots and utilities, um, which basically directly translate into what we wear in combat, what we wear on the day-to-day, -day, you know, at our, at most people wear day-to-day -day at their jobs in the Marine Corps anyway. So if the chicken wing pull up in order to alleviate cheating, there's going to be a counter standing beside the bar who will say up and you will pull up. And then when you reach the top and they see your arm go over, they will say down um, as to not allow any kind of resting at the top. You can rest at the bottom, they can say up and you can hang out there, rest in the down position, in the dead hang position, but you have to go down when they say down, at the, you can't rest at the top. And I know I'm gonna see some, see some comments in there about shoulder injury, I get it, there's inherent risk and everything that we do and in order to alleviate this the marines can opt to bring a towel and put it over the bar where their elbow where their armpit would hit to try to cushion that a little bit all right once you're at a dead hang and you settle you're not swinging they'll say up down 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 up, down. All right, and then once you're at a dead hang, you can drop off the bar. All right, so after the chicken wing pull-ups, we're gonna go on to the final event, which is going to be an agility test. All right, so what this is, is a, a 50 meter movement up and back twice. Um, so for the first stage of the movement, you're gonna start in the prone position here at the line, at the zero uh, yard line. I think, it's, I think it's meters. So the zero meter line, you're going to sprint, and you can't see them out there, but there's cones. There's four cones that you have to zig zag in and out of. Um, that's testing your agility. Once you get to the 50 meter mark, you're going to run backwards the entire length back, straight back without zigzagging. So you're going to do a backwards run all the way back. So that's leg number one. Number two is you're gonna grab a kettlebell in either hand, left or right, and you're going to sprint straight down to the end, back to the 50 meter line. You're going to switch hands once you touch the line and run straight back.